Well, it turns out this is going to be a seven part tutorial. I do apologize, guys. It's my first video set, so please be forgiving. I thought it was actually gonna be shorter than this, but YouTube has this annoying limit uh, limitation on, on things. So I'm gonna try to be as brief as I can. This is just basically finishing up the last tutorial. So in this one, in the last one, we talked about how to actually perform the export. Now we're just doing finalization of the model. Um, and I'm going to go back in here. We talked about BSX flags briefly. Um, collision object, we talked about that. It is a mop tree shape because if we did that as a convex, remember, it, would be, uh, it wouldn't be able to have these indentations. If it was box, it would just have a box around it. Sphere would have a sphere around it. So obviously, we want a triangular mesh. Okay. And uh, the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to talk about um, we talked about lighting, we talked about texturing, just make sure your textures are set up correctly. Um, actually, I, I made a mistake and I, um, I went back out and, and screwed up on some things. I, I kind of closed this out after I finished the video. So, okay, now, um, alpha property, <clears throat> this is, uh, Absolutely necessary. This is why I added the alpha property when we were uh, setting up for export is so that I wouldn't have to deal with this later. If you don't need it, you can delete it from here or remove it. I would always set that up because, you know, <clears throat> just in case you might want to set that up uh, and do double sided usually just in case as well. Um, unless you do, ren you might want to render out your object a few times first and decide what you like best about it and then remove your scene if you would like and that might actually be a better way to approach things but you know I was doing things very quickly when I designed this mesh and it's an old mesh uh, it still has some corrections to be done as you can see here in the lighting uh, there's a lot of crap in here and that's because you're seeing both sides of faces that are facing away from each other so what we're gonna do here is we don't actually need this stencil property. The stencil property does double-sided faces. We don't want double-sided faces in here. So we're gonna go, we're gonna right-click, we're gonna go block, and then remove, and we're actually gonna remove that property. We can actually add that back in, but it takes some serious editing skills to do that. So uh, just make note that when you're working in this, you can't go back, there is no undo button. This is obviously not perfect, but it's, it's all right, you know, for what it is. I could probably actually take out the inside uh, faces in here and then just delete this. But I do like having that little bit of an edge in there, I guess. But eh, it depends. I could probably do it either way and just leave the stencil property in if I felt like it. As you notice, um, it looks like our transparencies are, are okay. They could be better. And um, in here, let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm gonna open this up and see what we've got. Um, see if we've got what this setting does. Yeah, it probably doesn't do a whole lot, okay? So, you could actually go in here and change your alpha settings as well in here. Um, so, just something to toy with. And then you've got um, <clears throat> alpha something we'll, we'll probably want to toy with a little more later. This is just kind of the stuff that I know about it so far. So it's kind of a complicated subject uh, matter sometimes. And so this tutorial is mostly on exporting, but th these are just some things to know about it. So it looks okay at this point. Um, Another thing you could do in materials is you could actually add more gloss if you want. You could make it actually glow. Um, and you could go in here and change the emissive color and tell it what color you want to, it to glow as. In textures, um, you could add a glow map down here underneath and just go, it'd be called wine glass under slash G instead of under slash N. And you'd, you'd just make a map that shows it where you want it to glow and what color. And you could do it that way and then just set this the emissive color to white and it would probably look okay um, I usually do my glows separately so that I can just get a nicer effect out of it I find that it just looks a little bit better if you do it that way so anyway so this kind of a uh, 
clears all of this stuff up. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna save it and we're gonna open up our C drive and as you see, we still have it there. And then we're gonna open up, um, I actually have glassware open over here. And as, you, well, hold up. <laughs> okay, I wanted to go into glassware, okay. And for some reason, It's not going into that, so we'll just open it up anyway, okay? So do it manually for the sake of saving time. So we're gonna go into meshes, and then you're gonna go, to go into your Fallout data directory, meshes, and then we'll go into our, yeah, I'm gonna select something and hit G for, uh, for glassware here. Oh, I remember, it's because we have club meshes in here. And then we're gonna go, okay, sorry about that, I, I forgot one uh, directory here. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open that up and then we're going to not open up Internet Explorer because that's what I was about to do on accident. I'm getting <clears throat> rather tired. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this, and go in here and paste it into our glassware directory. The reason why we do this is because if I were to open it up in the C directory, you will find that we'll get this lovely error that says invalid directory. So we can't open it up with the GEC in here. You can't edit it, you can't do anything with it. So it has to be in the meshes folder somewhere. So we'll go ahead and, re and do this again. And then if we open it up in here, boom, we have a working mesh. It works perfectly well. It looks pretty good. It probably could be a little bit better. I mean, it would be better if I went out and rendered this all out and made it look pretty and things like that, but it looks okay for what it is, um, in my opinion, and I think it would suit what we're doing. So, um, it's the center's off, as you can see, because of the way I set up the centering. Um, I might actually change that later, depending on what I wanna do with it. So, at this point, we have a wine glass in the game, and this should pretty well conclude our tutorial, so. Um, hopefully these videos came in handy for you guys and I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching.